Welcome back. Today marks a big milestone for the CBS number one daytime drama, The Young and the Restless. It's celebrating 45 years of romance, breakups, feuds, dramatic turns, and shocking secrets. We'll talk with two longtime stars in just a moment. But first, here's a look back at 45 years of The Young and the Restless. We were born in 1973. You want me out of your life. We were here before cell phones. This is Chancellor. Yes. Before the internet. And before hashtags. Were hashtags. What are your plans? Just watch and see. We are forever evolving. Forever inspiring. Forever young. And restless. Love it. Over the 45 years, The Young and the Restless has featured many famous faces on the show, from now famous actors just getting their start to musicians, athletes, and media celebrities. But two of the stars of the show have been with The Young and the Restless for decades, and we are happy to talk with them this morning about this anniversary week on the show. We want to welcome and say good morning live from Los Angeles, Melody Thomas Scott, who's played the role of Nikki Newman for 38 years, and Peter Bergman, who's played Jack Abbott for 28 years. Good morning. Good morning, Good Heather. Good morning. Well, you guys have just been nominated for 25 Daytime Emmy Awards, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's an Thank exciting you. time. Absolutely. So to mark the milestone this week, 45 years, what can we expect on the show? Oh, mm. lots is happening. A lot is happening. I have a son coming back to town. Uh, there's all kinds of goings on at the Newman Ranch. Things are looking really tough yeah, over there. Yeah, and I don't think I'm allowed to tell you that, but <laughs> it's quite shocking. Does anyone end up in the hospital? Uh, no, that's that's possible. That's a possibility. Okay. And uh, other bad get, endings as well. No, no, I'm not as easy as you think. Uh, Anyway, all I can say is you must watch it because we don't have things like this happen on our show every week. Yeah, that's week. right. It's a very, very busy it's a very week. important week. And uh, it's also today actually is our 45th anniversary, so it's a very exciting time. And so you guys have both been on the show for decades. Have you, do you have like a favorite moment during your, your long-standing careers with the show? Favorite moment. Favorite a moment. A favorite so moment. Hard. Go ahead. Do you have a favorite moment? Um, uh, when people ask me that, for some reason, what pops into my head is one of my least favorite moments is when Nikki was a stripper. <laughs> because <laughs> as much as everybody else loved it, all the guys liked it. I liked it. I hated it because <laughs> I didn't feel that I was very good and I'm not really a good dancer. And so I, I was just in agony up there. But boy, that was uh, 1980. That was a long time ago. And it's right on men's lips. Huh? Yeah, we liked it when you were a stripper. You a stripper. <laughs> I remember that part. Um, Peter, I know that... There's too many, too many favorites that I can't think of. I, I can only imagine. It was Sorry. such a long time, and there's, there's so much to think about. I kind of put you on the spot with that question. Well, I know um, this week, no, no. Peter, your character uh, and Victor's character, or Victor, um, kind of come to a head, this, this feud that's been going on. It reaches a breaking point. Yeah, uh, Jack, uh, Jack is uh, headed to the Newman Ranch okay. to... Uh, uh, to uh, set things right, and things don't go quite as Jack planned. When do they ever? Yeah. <laughs> when do they ever? Exactly, yeah. Uh, things go uh, uh, seriously awry once Jack gets to the ranch. I can tell you that. We're all in suspense. We can't wait. Well, congratulations again on 45 years, and to both of you uh, for your fantastic careers there with the show. Thanks. We Thank love our so jobs, much. and we're happy to talk to you. Well, thank you so much. Again, congratulations to the number one daytime drama, The Young and the Restless, celebrating 45 years on CBS. You can watch it right here on KDKA-TV weekdays after our noon news.